Hey guys, Paperclip here again. Gonna be playing some more Stellaris today, where we are currently expanding our colonies again. We just got three new colonies here and another colony up here last time. So we've expanded this sector out. Um, we're working on getting a border range technology right now. That once we get it, we'll push all our borders farther out. So we should be able to envelop at least one, two, three more stars in this system. Maybe even take away Jabba or Moisir, Moisir might even get Enkef which would help because we're running kind of low on energy credits right now let's actually take a look is this one yeah we can actually build the planetary administration here now perfect how about here almost we can build it soon they're working on growing their fourth pop right now. They have an ocean preference. Why is their base hackiness only 60% then? I am confused why it's only 50% why it's only 60%. Same with over here. Hmm. I kind of need more energy credits. So I might pull somebody off of like minerals and put them on that. I'm also going to go ahead and get another hydroponics farm here. We're going to say that next pop is going to go on the hydroponics. That way we can continue to grow this planet. Awesome. Let's take a look at our sectors. They're running positives for everything, that's good. One thing we could do is the clave sector. We could go ahead and go da 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 da. da, da. That way they can build up some. Same with the Galan sector. We'll do the same with uh, the Cattell sector. This way these guys can actually develop their stuff. Uh, the Galan sector, we might tell them to focus on energy. You know what, yeah, you guys focus on finances. Currently, they pay us half of what they get every month. They have established an embassy with us. Okay, very well. Fleet order finished. System has been surveyed. Where is that? Right here? Yeah, he's currently not doing anything. You could go and what could you do? What could we have you do? Uh, we could have you survey that. I mean, why not? It'll give you something to do. It'll help you level up. Maybe you'll find an anomaly or something. Who knows? Another thing I want to do is come in here and say destroyer, destroyer, destroyer. Destroyer, destroyer. Get five more destroyers built up. Because that'll probably give us around six, 26, 27, maybe even 2,800 strength. <sighs> Alright, so I want to start getting some more research being done. So let's get some more engineering we could use more of that 
Is this two more? No, see, this one's a four, so I really want to get that. So when you're done that, come over here and build that four. So it's still technically in his. We are pushing his borders back with all these colonies we're forming. We got a good border with these guys. They have 10, 11 planets. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We have 19 planets. Holy crap. They just completely destroyed these guys. They're no longer even an empire. Right? Those guys are nuts looking. Holy crap. They are crazy looking. Where are these guys? Oh, we have an observation post for these guys. That's right over there. I completely forgot we even knew them, guys. Yep, they got eaten. So we're going to go ahead and build another colony ship then, in that case. We're going to send that over here to Kunbar. And whenever you're done, you're going to go survey that and then survey that. Because there's another ocean world here. So if we can get both of them, we can take a lot of this stuff. Whenever you're done up there, you're going to come back and survey this. And we'll go from there. Ah, scientist has leveled up. Awesome. He's not doing anything now. So, why don't you come back and get some more of this engineering research? We're almost done the border range extension. Very nice. Yes, research that. Now I want to look at all of these. We can't upgrade that. We can't upgrade that. We can't upgrade that. Now, I mean, here we could, since we have full pops anyway, I say we just ignore that and we just go ahead and get a science lab. Try and get some more science being produced. How about over here? Can we upgrade this? No. Can we upgrade this? Yes. We can go ahead and get a level 2 physics lab, or I mean a level 1 physics lab. Let's do it. We can't get this yet because we need a planetary capital, which we only have an administration. So we need at least 10 pops to have a planetary capital. Okay, fair enough. So let's see. Well, whenever this is done, we will get more food. So that should be okay. I say here we just go ahead and get another uh, science lab. Maybe we should get a mineral processing system. You know what? Yeah. Cancel that. We're going to go ahead and hit a mineral processing plant. Because that's going to increase the minerals on this planet by 10%. And there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine province. There's nine tiles that have minerals on them. So that could become quite useful for us. That's already got a planetary administration. Awesome. We can upgrade that to a normal farm. Oops. Along with this one. We can also upgrade this to a mining network. Same with this. Then you can upgrade that to a power plant. Along with that. So just upgrade everything we currently have built to the better version of the buildings that they are. You should be up here. Because why would you be on a 1-1 when you could be on a 2-1? It doesn't make sense. Alright, so you guys almost have your fifth pop. It's about halfway there. We could take this guy off energy and put him there. Doesn't really change it by much though. Now nah, we're just gonna tell the next guy to go and work food. How are we doing on Faradex? Doing okay. You're telling this next guy to work minerals. That'll be alright. I think we're gonna go ahead and clear that. I'll go ahead and clear this one too. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Kunbar the 10th. The massive engine sections are breaking and breaking thrusters can still be found on the surface, although they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Plus three engineering on Kunbar. Huh. Wow, there is a ton of energy here. Energy, 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 energy. Holy crap, we definitely want a colony over here, because that planet is very valuable. So I doubt we'll get these since they built most of here. It's gonna keep them well within the borders of that. Where is this construction ship? Ah, he's up here. What can we have you do while you're up here? You could go get some more engineering research. Why not? And that looks like about all you can do over here. Yeah, there's not much else they could do over there. So then after that, I guess you're just going to come back and just get some more societal research. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Grossman Bavada. They appear to be in the later stages of a Bronze Age, having mastered early metalworking. Although most of their population is rural, several large cities states have been have formed. We should consider building an observation post above the world to study them more closely. Okay, so they have four pops. They're in a Bronze Age. interesting and of course this happens to be on an ocean world one of the ocean worlds we were going to try and colonize oh well I suppose when this guy is done I don't think I can even tell you to build nah cause it's it's not within our borders if I get this one this will be in our borders though I should be fine. We're done the extended border range. We can go ahead and do Arctic Worlds next. I think that's a good idea. Because there are some Arctic Worlds around us. Like this one. Look at this. Desert, continental, arid, arid, tomb. Desert world, Arctic world, arid world. There's a couple worlds around us where I think if we had Arctic, it would help. No, 
gonna I'm gonna tell this guy to also start building a colony ship because now that our borders are extended, if we get this, I think we can connect that with our main borders. We can get another. Maybe I'll just add them to this sector over here. Maybe we'll just make that like a bunch of stuff over here. I don't know. I don't know. So Marikab is now rightfully ours. And it looks like he actually went and built stuff here. So he cleared this out and then built stuff here. But now it's in our borders, so it's now ours. Along with Herma. So both of these we ended up taking with our ex expanded borders. Uh, 15%. Better not screw it up. See, this is the Cattell sector. Yeah. There you go, guys. You can have those two fresh planets. Construction ship right over here. It's going to come over here. Get those energy credits. Get those minerals. Get that research. And we'll tell you what to do after that. All of them are just going to go to Yitlip because they can all get there in one transport. Gain 150 society research. That's, that's pretty nice. So let's see how much we use at the end of this month because that goes into stored. Wow, so we just used 60 of that. So I guess whatever we make each month is what we can use in stored. pretty good it's pretty good this is gonna take a long time to finish that all you guys group together It looks like it's going to be about 26, 26 and a half, maybe closer to 27, but not quite. So this colony ship, you're going to come over to here. You're going to colonize this planet. Holy crap. It's got atmospheric aphrodisiacs. And it has natural beauty. So this has plus 10% habitability, plus 15% happiness. Uh, faster growth time. Wow, this is a really good planet, actually. Um, there's nowhere that has both food and minerals besides, like, the blocked tiles. So maybe we should just go ahead and just build somewhere where we get the best adjacency bonuses. Like here. Or here. And here we get bonuses to science. Let's do that. Let's go there. Construction complete. So we have another construction ship. You can go ahead and start getting some more of these minerals. There we go. All these guys. I want you guys just like meet like here. It's gonna be about halfway for everybody, I think. 
Then they can all group together. And then we can go ahead and start clearing out some of these hostiles in nearby systems bias. As soon as you've done this next survey, I'm going to tell you to do that. There you go. Alright, so we now have a 20, almost 27 strength fleet. What was it over here? There's 452 over here. Now I have to clear these guys out to be able to research this tree thing. These kind of are like tree pods. They kind of look like giant seeds. Giant living seeds. There is clear evidence that a massive space battle took place in the close orbit of San Va at some point in the last 5,000 years. The surface on one side of the moon is pockmarked with craters from stray weapon blasts and scans from the Lerode Kundex have picked up several hulks on the ground. Though these wrecked ships are all in very poor condition, the fact that anything remains at all after the damage they must have sustained is a testament to their advanced design. Science Officer Clandrax is preparing an expedition to sift through these derelict hulls for any valuable technologies. Issues the special project Mountain Graveyard Expedition. Alright, well these things are coming to attack us, so... We might as well engage them. Let's see how well this goes. Uh, looks like this is going to go phenomenally. I don't think we've lost a single ship. Now you guys can go and repair. Alright, so I want you to come research that. And then research that. You can come over here and you can get this energy. Because I need more energy. And while you're here, you can go ahead and get that extra engineering science too. So this colony ship is done. We already have them going over there. Apparently there's multiple worlds here that are colonizable. We have a tropical and another ocean world. The ocean world is very small and it has asteroid impacts. This one's also pretty small. So we only have 20% habitability there though. Here we have 75% habitability. This isn't very big, but it would put this in our border so we could start observing them. You know what, let's do it. It's not a big planet, but I'm not too worried about them coming over here and getting these yet. Looks like there's another ocean world over here. Ah, there's just tons of freaking worlds over here. I guarantee you there's going to be hostiles in here. Every freaking black hole seems to have hostiles. And there's nothing here anyway, so unless there happens to be something in this black hole. War decoration. Okay. Various circumstances beyond our control have left us no choice but to come to you with this general trade proposal. This chance may never come again. They want to guarantee our independence in exchange for us guaranteeing their independence. Have you guys been losing? No, they didn't lose that one. How about this one? No, that's the one I just looked at, isn't it? Yeah, it is. can't even see that one I tell you what I will do it 
just because we were trying to be friends with you and you just turn, turned your back on us. Let's see. You guys have alien pets. If we wanted alien pets, and we offered you minerals, it doesn't look like we'd have to give you many. If we gave you 450 minerals for your pets, I don't know what pets are, but pets are awesome. I want pets. I would like pets for 15 years. In which case, we will give you 655 minerals for 15 years of whatever your alien pets are. Sure. And your response is probably going to be yes. That seems like a fair deal to us. So we just got the mineral mining network level 2. We could unlock robots. Eh. We could get the Batherian power plant. Yes. The Batherian power plant is amazing. That will also unlock Batherium so we can potentially find a lot of Batherium in our borders as well. So we aren't the only ones that are over here trying to explore this. Let's look. What are your preferred type of world? Can I see? What is your opinion of us? Fairly good. Plus 20. They are arid, tundra, and desert. So they have no habitability for ocean worlds like at all. Um, should we establish an embassy with him? Because he's not going to be going for the same planets as us. You know what? Let's do it. He's at war with somebody I don't know about. There's somebody I don't know about over here. So that very well could be who he's at war with. I don't know though. I'm going to be colonizing some stuff over here. He's going to want probably this and maybe even that. No! Clandrax! No! Ah, he was so good. Well, let's see. Research speed on new worlds plus 20%. Local recruitment cost or research speed plus 10 Let's get this guy. Let's see. Leader lifespan, leader experience gain, research, speed, knowledge discovery chance, research speed. I would like to take this guy off engineering research. Put this guy on engineering research. This guy is now going to survey systems for us because he gets experience gain plus what, 15%? Yeah, so he should level up quicker. He's 46, so he should live for a while. You know what? Survey that system and then come back here. Now I'd like you to do this research project, which apparently I can't click on for some reason. Why can't I click on this? Has one science ship. Oh, scientist has skill three or greater. Okay, understandable. Well, then, whenever this guy's done, you're gonna go over there. So we have our other colony ship now. He's gonna come over to here and colonize this. Where do we want you? I would want you there, but I can't. I could do you here, 
I think I might lose the energy if I do that though, but I would get bonuses on everything, a lot of which is science and energy. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go there. So we have an inactive construction ship. Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and get another mining station and another mining station. Just get extra, extra minerals being mined. That would be fine. Alright, so these guys have more stuff in their borders now, so we're going to go into the planets, the Galan sector. We're going to add all of these new planets into them. We're going to say finish. What level of hostility? Oh, yeah, see, that is definitely not going to be something we go after, nor is that. <sighs> so hold on he is colonizing that world what happened to the guy who is going to be colonizing up here didn't we send somebody to colonize up here you colonize up here go there I don't know what happened to the other guy who was going over there but maybe I was dumb and changed him Ah, oh, our admiral died too okay so let's go into where is it leaders admirals recruitment cost evasion lifespan evasion you are going to lead this fleet And there we go. And that's where I'm going to call this an episode. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode where we continue to take all the planets nearby us um, pretty soon. Probably in a couple episodes. We're not going to have anywhere else to really colonize unless we start getting more research underway. Besides coming up here. Which we can do. Why is this one only yellow? Because it has unstable tectonics and it's tidally locked. Okay, so that knocks it down 20% habitability. Well, that's not good. That doesn't make me want to colonize there. But anyway, I digress. I will see you guys in the next episode. Until then, bye bye.